Ryan Croft, the inventor of the Joshua MK5. This guy. Right there here. is the Joshua MK5. How much does that weigh, by the way? Uh, about uh, seven and three quarter pounds. Is that with a full magazine? No, that's with a magazine, but not a full magazine. Not okay. a loaded magazine. But that's uh, the way it looks now with a compensator and et cetera. We wanted to make sure that Magpul, because Magpul is a favorite. We wanted to make sure that all the Magpul standard furniture work, and it does. I mean, this is all Magpul. Uh, the Magpul grip panels work on it, even though this is not an actual Picatinny rail. It's Picatinny compliant. I think it's superior to Pic Picatinny. It feels better in your hand. It's stronger. It's lighter. Um, so, I mean, okay. that's why I designed it that way. And it does work with, it's all actual Picatinny compliant. Show me, uh, how you take off that top rail, by the way. Because that top rail does come off. Yes, yes, this is... Just removable. take it, just take it right off. This slides forward, it's yeah. buffered. Anybody can do this. It's buffered on a piece of Delrin right here. Yeah. So it's friction, it, yeah. friction driven. Yes, yes. Just like Fred exactly. Flintstone's car. Got it, it provides just the right amount of force to keep it absolutely still at zero point. Okay, that's pretty high tech. As you can see, that was a an AK-47 safety. Now inside, yeah. before you go into in, into too much uh, oblivion here, uh, inside you can see we have our AK. This is the AK. There's your AK. All original. Now this has been changed. A couple little modifications. All cherry. All original. This ours. Oops. Easy to easy to handle. <laughs> <laughs> it's the buffer that takes up shock and vibration. So what we did was we reworked the way the spring. Yes. So it's more direct. Okay. You don't have any of that rotational force going down into it. Straight which would, ahead. Which would raise the muzzle up. Right. So that helps with the shooting. But it's all AK inside. So which it's means the same. You're not, you're not rotating. You're just firing. Is that correct? Correct. Okay. So now uh, inside, let me get more in the light here. Mm -hmm. Uh, you'll see there's the AK guts, there's the spleen, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we use right now, we're using regular AK, nothing wrong with that, except this is our receiver. Okay, well that's an AK, AK. that's a bolt carrier, and the bolt is right in there, the 5.56 five, that this we the, make. That's the stuff that's so reliable. That's what we make. We uh, use the bolt, but we modify. We're going to make later. Ooh. So there is the receiver. Now show the bottom, please, where the magazine goes. As you can see, that holds an AK, not an AK, what did I just say? AR magazine. Stanag compliant and also works with the new Magpul magazines and the new Magpul magazines. They did fix it. They do drop free. Right. There you go. So and they so did not used to drop free. Now they did. No, we don't use the banana. The banana is a little tricky to get in and out. That drops right out, goes right back in. USGI. Easy in and out. Good for survival. Now, I like. I still like the USGI magazines just because that interface there is steel and so it doesn't wear out. Mm -hmm. These are plastic, and they do eventually wear out, but mm -hmm. it sure is a nice fit, and they're very durable. So, And this is really the, one of the main components of our patent that we've been looking at is we have a combination steel and aluminum receiver. Uh, it does a lot of things. We're not going to get into every single thing tonight because I'm running out of battery, honestly. Um, but uh, you have a feed ramp. If you'll show them the feed ramp, which is removable, that will help later to do multi-caliber. Okay, and show the adapter. Show them how that it works with the yes, stock. right here. That part fits right in there. So this is actually changeable right here. Mm -hmm. And this stock is made, uh, well, the, the adapter is made to receive a standard um, AR-15 AR buffer tube. Yes. But it's coming with the underfolder. See that little hub right there? That's going to have the underfolder. And then if you don't want it, you take it out. Instead, you put in your buffer tube. Lickety split, and then you have an AR stock instead. That's why it's an adapter. Very simple. That system adapts here. Mm -hmm. So these are the same parts. You would simply unscrew this, 
remove it. Of course, there's a button assembly and a spring that you'd pop in as well. Mm -hmm. But this is, if you, if you go to the buffer tube assembly, if you flip the parts around and put them right back in, it plugs the hole and provides for a nice sling, a sling point here. Yeah. Now, uh, the compensator, which uh, I don't know if we're including that or not, but it is threaded. Yeah, yeah one, threaded half, barrel. one half by 28 TPI standard USGI. And how long is the barrel without that? 16.5. Uh, 16.5. .5. There you without go. Without it. And it is ATF compliant. Thank you so much. Yes. It holds 30 rounds, obviously. <laughs> the magazine. In California, it'll only hold 10 rounds. Right. That's yes. right. That's right. And we'll have to put in the famous bullet button at that point. Okay, bullet buttons. Bullet button. Very simple system. Usually we're funnier than this, but it's really late. Well, I tell you, as, as a personal accomplishment, I, I like to, to, to put this in as well. I mean, even counting each one of these pieces of hardware, we actually came in, in terms of numbers of parts, fewer parts than the original AK-47. Hmm. So that obviously makes a simpler weapon to both make and maintain. Um, I wasn't shooting for that originally, but I tell you what, it, it's pretty nice. We eliminated a lot of parts that go in here to making an AK. The handguard, of course, does not get hot to the touch because it's a heat sink. Yes. Uh, the, while the barrel ow, will get very hot. As you can see, that was very hot. <laughs> the, <laughs> this is, ooh. Nice sex, and cool. Sexy and also a little bit drunk. It's falling over. <laughs> okay. So, um... Joshua, MK5, under eight pounds, mm -hmm. nicely balanced, shoots, as you can tell from the other videos, shoots it, nicely. It does balance really well in your cradle hand. There's your center of balance right there. As far as accuracy goes, we're going to have some uh, long-range video since it's been uh, a little rainy every time we wanted to go out. And plus, we didn't want to go out when we had the patent pending going, so we've only been able to maybe go in the last couple of weeks. So we'll have that very, very soon. Is there anything else, Mr. Croft? No, just uh, that uh, we're very proud of what we've done, and um, I'm very excited about you know going the next step and uh, filling our orders and producing a lot of high-quality guns. Amendment Arms, Joshua, MK5. Ryan Croft, not available, married. <laughs> <laughs>